I remember when I was, um, I was, I had a really great job. I was working in New York City. I worked for MTV Networks. I worked in, as their marketing coordinator for VH1, VH1. And so I got to meet celebrities. I got to go to parties. I got to stay in five-star hotels. I got to go do concert tours. I got to work with really interesting creative people, work in Manhattan, right in Times Square. I mean, it was very exciting for someone in her 20s. And, but along the way, I just felt like, it wasn't really my thing, you know. There was yeah. there was some like all the politics and, and all those things about working in an office and I always hated working for other people, so I had this <laughs> kind of drive I wanted to be independent, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. And so um, I remember wrestling with this idea of sure. what should I do? I don't know what to do. And I had this dream. And at the time I was thinking I might move to Boston, you know, just to get at it, just leave, just do something, go back to college, you know, do something. Or, um, and so I was thinking about that and I had this dream that my brother had just moved, left New Jersey. We, our family is very close. So for us to leave our little little family unit and our mm. cousins and everything, it, it's a big deal to like leave the herd. And so my brother had got a job in Florida, so he was leaving. And so I had this dream that we both of us died and there were two coffins and he was dead. And I, w and I woke up in the coffin at the wake, you know, where everyone was like looking in and <laughs> seeing, like, I'm Catholic, so we have the wake, so I, I don't know if everyone does that where it's open casket. And I was laying in the casket. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's not universal. <laughs> it's not? Oh, no. Uh, oh, okay. Not so, at all. So anyway, yeah, you, so you're laying there, and I'm like, I had these like strings on top of the coffin that were like kind of holding me in, and I was like pulling on them, like trying to get out, because I was like, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. And I remember the feeling of feeling trapped, but uh, there was more to me to live. Mm. Like it was like this feeling of there's so much, I, like so I'm not ready to die yet. Yeah. And the funniest part of the dream was that my mother came over and was pushing me back into the coffin. And she said, Debbie, um, we already paid for the funeral. <laughs> so you gotta like die, <laughs> like you can't. And so it's kind of typical of like the family talking you out of like going for your dreams, your friends. And so I knew that was a really important dream. And I remember this very clearly to this day. I didn't know what dreams meant, but I knew that I would always, I, had, I was a big dreamer. So I knew it, it meant that I needed to break free. And then that's when I left and went to Colorado and was like, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just said, I got to move and find my purpose. I'm just going to go. <laughs> I'm going to take this action. And it was like crossing, they talk about in the hero's journey, you cross the threshold from contemplation where you're just thinking about changing and you feel that like in uncertainty right. to you actually take action you actually do something and the thing is the hero starts out as a fool the hero doesn't start out knowing all the answers it, it's that that kind of foolish uh uncertainty but it's an innocence in in a way too it's uh the archetype of the innocent going out and saying I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I need to do something else. And that's really what led me to mm. everything that happened today.